Technology has always been present in my work. It's an extension of what we think, what we can do. In itself, it's, it's, it's a fountain for new ideas. My name is Joao and we are at my place in Lama Island in Hong Kong. I'm an artist and I am interested in loss of control, abstraction. I graduated from an art school in Portugal and in 2006 I got this investigation scholarship from a Portuguese foundation and I got admitted in a Master of Fine Arts program in Hong Kong. So I moved here by the end of 2006 and it's been five years now. Even when I was studying painting, like my last two years of college, I was already working with video and sound, but I was mostly using software. And that software somehow restricted what I wanted to do. And when I came to Hong Kong, on one side, I learned how to program and how to make my own software, which gave me all the access I needed to any kind of digital data. In this year's creative project in Beijing, I made this work called Traces, in which I, I shot uh, the formations in water that are made by a boat that I catch to, to, to Central. So with, with the original video, I actually I, I made an algorithm that creates a, a three-dimensional virtual space and by overlapping layers, of the video, I create a certain um, transformation in the depth perspective. And the moment I installed it in UCCA, I decided to use these uh, fog machines, which is another layer on the work that uh, somehow calls the attention not to the, to the projection, not to the projector, but what's in between. On a separate room, I had a series of five uh, small monitors uh, playing these very basic geometric animations which were all generated by the movement of the same waves. What I wanted to, to show was what do we do with, with data that we gather from video and what actually happens in the video itself. So while in one room you had something very minimal, uh, very geometrical, where there was a very clear artificiality, in the other room you had something more immersive, more organic, which consisted just on the original video and the light pins from the projector. Sea of Mountains is a work that I did like, and consists on a... I framed a parcel of the ocean and I tracked the movement of each wave that was moving in that parcel of the ocean and I assigned them to different pitches in a piano melody. It's a huge contrast between input, that is the video, and output, that is the sound, but at the same time there is uh, conceptually no contrast at all because the sound is actually the data that is coming out from the video. There is in the beginning of Sea of Mountains a, a Chinese saying which is basically, if we try to translate it to English, a loop that points to infinity, which is probably you know, the, the, the idea behind all that, that visual richness that you can have in such a close-up shot of something. You have a endless movement, you have a endless dynamics that, that like many other works that, that I do, uh, resemble something that was made uh, by computers and not by nature. November, I will have my first show at the gallery in Hong Kong, for which I'm doing a project where I'm deconstructing a subway station, a Hong Kong subway station. Lately, I've been interested in these so-called non-places, subway stations, or airports, etc., and to prove that they are actually they are not really non-places, but they are some some strange places that are actually a big part of our culture. They are transition spaces, and they are spaces full of visual information. 
So for this show I am preparing a main piece, which is an installation that consists on the turnstiles, on five turnstiles identical to the ones in the subway station, that will be automated according to the flow of people in the central subway station in Hong Kong, so they will move by themselves according if we are during the rush hour or another time of the day. And then there will be a series of pieces which consist on prints and paintings of the information boards that you have on the subway station. But I am removing all the information, so I just leave the, the graphical aspect of it. On another part of the exhibition I will have a video where I shoot the flow of people getting out from the subway, but I will use that flow to create one single shape that will change according to that flow. The main idea behind this show was um, something that I am moving, that I'm more and more interested in, that is in to, into abstract the urban space and to remove text and let the space be just uh, readable through graphical information. Experiments on the notation of shapes was a project that I started in 2010 which consisted on an archive of around 50 different shots of the Hong Kong cityscape. Not the, the most uh, typical shots of the cityscape but uh, a few locations around the city where looking up you will get these abstract shapes uh, which provide a skyline that through a computer program is used as the coordinates for sound. What I was trying to do was to create some kind of musical composition by depicting the city in this way. The work was presented as a, as a single channel video where these shots were aligned. I did another video, a complementary video to this project called Conductor, where I actually put the camera on a small cart and I went through the back alleys of the city. And by pointing the camera up, I'm shooting the negative space between the buildings, which is the sky, and I use the same kind of algorithm to make this path, walking from one point to another of the back alley to make that generate another kind of sound. In 2008, I made this piece where I went to the most crowded place in Hong Kong, which is uh, Mong Kok, in the Kowloon, Kowloon Peninsula. And I went on a Sunday, which is actually the most busy day, and I stayed outside the subway station, waiting for the crowd to come out. I was wearing a pack of, like, four contact microphones on both my arms, and I stayed, or I tried to, stay still while the crowd passes through me and I recorded the score generated by all the people pushing me around. Afterwards I used this score to to create an interference in the video, the documentation of this performance. So I use an optical flow algorithm to make each each bump each time someone hits me to distort the video. The work is called Action Through Non-Action and as the name says I was trying to to create a situation where I wouldn't do absolutely nothing but I will stay, um, my physical presence will have an implication. It's also a metaphor for my situation in Hong Kong. I mean, I am here, I, I don't speak the language, I, I feel a certain distance from the Chinese, Cantonese context of it but my, my physical presence here has some implications. What is changing in my work is that I want to bring the experiences that I try to document into the gallery room, into, into the gallery space, not just transpose them directly, but create a situation where the only thing that creates a distance between the experience that people are having and the actual experience is the manipulation by the medium. That will emphasize not really the experience that people are having, but the medium and the technology itself. 
one thing is you say you have technology to make your life easy. Another thing is you say you have technology to allow you to do things that you couldn't do. You know, technology shouldn't, of course, yes, I, I'm not going to be an hypocrite, it makes your life easy. But it would be much better if people focus on using technology to actually to try to achieve things that they could never do. Before.